Hello and welcome to The Fireplace, brought to you by Suncorp Team Girls. My name's Greg Davis from the Courier Mail, and joining us as always, the one and only Laura Clemisha from the Firebirds. Clem, welcome. Oh, great to be here as always. You're only human, Clem. Now, let's talk us through that draw with the West Coast Fever. It, oh. Absolute thriller. It was, it was such a tight game in every respect, and it was a game where Gosh, we would have loved to have had a had a win on that one, but at the same time, there's so much we could take from it as as a Firebirds cohort. I mean, we were down so many of our usual starting players. Um, Gabby Simpson coming back from a week of pretty intense emotional stuff. Just on that, what amazing leadership from Gabs to overcome her disappointment from not being picked in the Diamond Squad, and then to lead the team the way she did. Like that. That is just the definition of leadership, isn't it? For sure. Gabs has been phenomenal this week. Obviously, so disappointed. But before the game, she kind of gave everyone a heads up that she might need us to step up. And that's something that's awesome from a leader too, being able to call on the people around her. But at the end of the day, as you saw, she didn't need much help. She played such a true captain's game and just used all of that emotion and the things that had happened that week to just fuel her, to lift herself and us up to better things. I mean, she was on fire. She absolutely was, and she should be in Liverpool too, just quietly. But what would I know? Now, Netball Queensland CEO Catherine Clark sent, uh, sent a message out to Fireburns fans, asking them to pledge their allegiance to the to the girls and to get behind the team. They had, what effect did that have on the girls? Oh, it was it was so amazing as a team who've gone through a bit of a rough trot. At that point, we hadn't had any wins for five games, and I assume in other clubs, maybe in other sports. Um, the CEO and the board might have been, you know, giving the players a little bit of a kick up the butt. But we were having a hard time and to know that Catherine, Netball Queensland, that our fans were all actually genuinely behind us as opposed to getting frustrated with us was, was so special in a time where we really needed a hug, it felt like one big purple hug. And then to see everyone turn out on the weekend with their purple ribbons, it, it honestly means so much that we have a wider Firebirds community that really care. All right, we'll be back with the Suncorp Team Girls moment. Clem, there's a conspiracy going on here because it keeps, it's always the defenders. Do you pick this? Well, look, I do have a soft spot for Tazi and Kimmy. And I think they deserve it given the job they did on West, against West Coast Fever, especially against Fowler. She's unbelievable, but they did a great job when it counted most. Yeah, absolutely. Fowler is damn hard to stop, especially in the dying minutes of the game where there's such urgency for Fever. Um, I guess the thing is, as defenders, we practice as a unit those scenarios very often at training. What happens when there's 10 seconds on the clock, when there's five seconds on the clock, when we need to hold up that goal to get the win or the draw in this case, as it would be. And they just execute it to perfection and that's not always easy to do in the pressure moments. But it's also worth saying that out the front they were very well assisted by their teammates Gabby and Gemma in getting the pressure up, getting the hands up and making sure that feed was as off balance and tricky as possible. Absolutely and, and with with foul or two, like you might only get one or two intercepts a game. Yes. So that's why you have to be persistent and keep working hard, working hard, because that intercept might be in the 59th minute. Not, not the first, but the 59th minute. That's why you have to just keep on going, don't you? That's right. You need to have this kind of dogged determination, because as you say, you're not going to get the rewards first. You're not going to get the rewards second. You need to celebrate the little wins with the people around you, because it's a tough, tough job. Absolutely. Hopefully next week we'll have someone who's not a defender, Clem. We we'll might get someone else to pick it. All right, we'll be back with a preview of this weekend's clash with the New South Wales Swifts. All right, well, it's Origin Week, so what better game to have than the Queensland Firebirds against New South Wales Swifts, traditional rivals, some of the best netball you'll ever see, Clem, was at 2015 and 2016 grand finals between these two powerhouses. What are we expecting this weekend against the top of the table Swifts? Yeah, I would expect more of the same, Greg. I mean, for us, we're at the bottom of the table and we've got absolutely nothing to lose. And that's a challenge that we're really excited about to take on the top of the table, Swifts. Swifts have been in fantastic form and a key part of how they've been operating from a week to week basis is that they just build the pressure. And they might not be going out getting the specky intercepts, but they keep the pressure such that teams inevitably make a mistake, turn over the ball. So a huge part of what we're gonna try and do this week is to combat that by being there for each other, making sure we have reliable and consistent leads to the ball so that we're not needing to go for a Hail Mary pass or spray the ball and give them, give them extra turnovers. 
Now, speaking of your attack end, mm. Abby and Gretel, yeah. and World Cup bound Gretel Tippett, let's not forget yes, that. Well done. So Gretz. proud of her. How good is that? So good. So deserved. But that, that with Romel Durao, that shooting circle, they're actually developing quite nicely as a combination, and that's going to be important against the Swiss. Absolutely. Well, Abby and Gretel have, of course, played together previously. Abby used to be a Firebird um, a couple of years ago, so we're very excited to welcome her back in the purple. But she just brings a very strong, mobile body. Um, she's extremely hard to push off and get around, uh, which is just so great for us. She's an easy option for our, um, for our midcourt. And her and Gretel just get along so well. I think they have a lot of fun together. Excellent. And remember, when in rivalry matches, the ladder doesn't matter, Clem. No, that's it. And that's what we're counting on this weekend. Home game, another purple crowd. It'll be so good. Absolutely. That's the Queensland State Netball Centre at 1pm on Sunday. Remember, you can watch it on Channel 9 or on your Netball Live app. And all the news leading up to the clash will be in the Courier Mail or on the couriermail.com.au website. Clem, thank you. As always, thanks, Greg. Go get those Swifts. We'll, we'll see do. you next week.